and welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. Now today I'm very lucky to be joined by a good friend and somebody who's got an awesome YouTube channel, Katie Bix. Hey, hello. No, that's better. Basically her intro is always a hello and it sticks with me. Yeah, it sticks with everyone. It gets right in the ears. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing today, um, today we're going to be doing a spelt bagel. Now a couple of months ago I put out an Instagram um, a picture and as always you all commented saying you wanted a video so there we go, I'm going to come up with a video for you. And to back that up, you've been doing a... A sweet bagel. So you went savoury, I went sweet, did a chocolate bagel with uh, peanut butter and jelly essentially. All homemade, absolutely beautiful. Good. Check it out at the end of the video, I'll put a link down in the description box as well. First up, to get on with our bagel mix, we've got to make almost like a bread dough. Oh, okay. And we're going to be using our mixer today. I'm going to get you on this today. Trusting so, me with your equipment. Exactly, over you go. Now it's important when choosing your flour, spelt comes in various different types. So you've got whole grain and you've got fine, which is like a nutty type flour. Mm -hmm. Use the fine nutty type because it actually blends more like a white flour. Um, so you've got oh. 450 grams. See, that facts. was really See, facts. useful. Got so many facts. Don't expect as much of that on my channel. <laughs> 450 grams of spelt flour going in. Into there, we are going to add um, a teaspoon of sugar, a good pinch of salt, and seven grams of um, active yeast. Which is just like a little sachet, isn't yep. it? See, no mess, you see? On Katie's channels, I had to do everything by hand. Like from uh, the 80s. Well, that's all right. Covered in mess. You have a look at your guns. No! <laughs> right, into there, um, a good amount of olive oil. So we're going in there with about two to three tablespoons. Finally, we've got some black olives, pitted, put them in a the liquidizer. Now, it's in a jug like this because it's not the most attractive thing to look at. It's like a black water, basically. But it's going to give the, the bagel itself a beautiful sort of olivey taste. I can confirm it's definitely olives. Definitely olives. Oh, Ooh, interesting. It's really strong, huh? Will this colour the dough at all? Only slightly. And then we're just going to go on with the blender lid. Go in. Ooh. A little bit more. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yes. Done. It's doing the thing. It's doing the binding thing. That right. Looks, oh, that Beautiful. So that should be pretty much kneaded as it is. What sort of consistency are we looking for? It should be quite pliable, quite stretchy, Love and then it. it's going to double in size over about half an hour to an hour. You're looking at it to be like that. So the machine's done most of the work for you. I like it. So that can go into a bowl, tea towel over the top. Tea towel over the top. And put it somewhere warm. In true Blue Peter style. Ta da! That's oh, what you're looking I love for. It. So you know what I'm loving are the little fleckles of the olive in little there. Little bits of olive in really there. Really nice. They're going to be little pockets of flavour, aren't they, really? Mm. Right, so let's shake that round. You see it's a little bit of a dry crust, that's just the type of flour that we're using. Uh, so with bagels you generally have a two part process, you're going to boil it first of all, then you're going to pop it in the oven. So first up you're going to get some honey into some hot water and you're going to put that onto a rolling boil. In the meantime, if you can section them off and start showing everyone how to make bagels. Adding honey into that water does not mean you're going to end up with a sweet bagel, does it? No, no, no. It means that you're going to get a lovely skin on that bagel. You know when you break open a bagel and you've got that like chewy outer bit yeah. and the lovely doughy middle? Dough. That's what that honey's going to help do. I love the consistency of bagel dough as well. It's really... It's doughy. Yeah, really soft, really got that lovely spring to it. With the dough balls, you're really trying to get a, a circle. You pull from underneath, circle it round, push them down to small circles, and then using infamous stick, Infamous stick of... Nothingness. Yeah. <laughs> actually, what do you actually want people to comment? What is that? Yeah. Tell In us. a kitchen. Because I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know where it's come from, <laughs> to be honest. Right, going to spin that round. And you're going to make little circles. Now, along with the one on Katie's video, recipe-wise, pull the circle open quite a lot, because it's going to close up the more it rises. So open up to about two centimetres past, so it's going to shrink by about two centimetres. Yeah. Oh, they look good. They look better than my ones. I'm not going to lie, this went a lot better than I anticipated it to. Yeah, I'm a little it, bit annoyed it, about it that was, whole situation, to be honest with you. That was that was just a really... Sometimes you get a really satisfying bagel. That looks really rubbish do. now, doesn't it? No, I like that. It's rustic. Rustic. That's the word I'm going to be using today. Rustic. One, two, right. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fab. There you go. It's just me showing off my maths. So we're going to do boil these for two minutes either side. Yep. When they float to the top, you know yep. they're done. You just flip them over. Then you're going to transfer that over to a little bit of kitchen roll just to drain off. Leave them for a couple of minutes. Then you can put them onto a grease-proof paper pan with a little bit of flour. They will stick otherwise. Yes. I promise you they will stick. A little bit of egg over the top. Now you can play around with flavourings with these. You can put on whatever topping you want. So I'm going to go for a little bit of poppy seeds. We've got some... Um, 
pumpkin seeds, and we've got some chia seeds just over the top. So relatively light flavouring. Love it. Just add into that gorgeous crunch of the, yeah. of the skin of the bagels. Lovely. So those are going to go into an oven at 200 degrees centigrade for about 20 minutes? Yeah, about 20 minutes. For until they've gone lovely and golden on top. We're going to get on with our avocado, our poached egg and our crispy bacon. So for the bacon, you're going to lay it on a little bit of kitchen roll just to rub off some of the fat. That helps it go really crispy. For your poached eggs, fill up a deep pan with water, bring to a rolling boil, add a splash of white wine vinegar, generous pinch of salt and drop your egg in from a height. Take your poached eggs out and leave them in a bowl with a little bit of ice just to bring them down to temperature and make sure they don't carry on cooking. So we're going to take our bagels out of the oven. Meanwhile, I'm going to sort out the avocado. Now we're going old school today and making avocado roses, which I don't think could be more 90s if it tried. It is proper 90s Love style, that. isn't it? Avocado, rose, proper 90s. So good. Show us your tip. We, are, uh, we were discussing tips on how to you know, know if your avocado is the right one. And I've got step one. See, I didn't know about this one. Which is if you knock off the top, oh, and if it falls off like that, then you're on, you're on to a winner. Now, the other thing that Ian was saying is that then the colour that's underneath your little nubbin, nubbin. also determines... <laughs> nubbin? Technical term, nubbin. You called it a nipple before. <laughs> the colour underneath your nubbin uh, means that if it's a brown... It's not, not good, mouldy. Really if it's really bright green, it's too hard. Too hard. And if it's this colour, you're on to a winner, hopefully. Should be perfect. Hopefully. But what do you not do when you're in the supermarket? Never squeeze your avocados. Right. I've got a film crew today. That's why I'm cooking quite a lot before you think I'm being quite greedy. I've got a group of three people, which is such a rarity and so nice for me to have. Hey. I usually do it all by myself. Oh, but, I didn't... but anyone who isn't into the filming side of things, though, just know that that's insanely impressive. The fact that you're able to literally <sighs> fill everything. Hats off to you, <laughs> Thank Hats you. Off. So, right. for our avocado roses, we're going to slice it in half. That's a perfect one. Using the base of your knife and holding it nice and firmly, you're just going to tap into it, give it a twist, and boom, it should come off, and then just knock it off on the edge of a table. We're then going to scoop it out, trying to get it all out in one. I feel like slight diagonal will get us a nicer curve. Cool, go for it. Nice and yeah. thin slices. Try to get nervous. So, you've got, you've got to take your time over it. Manipulate it, it round. Feed it out. Twist it round. And then you end up with a really beautiful. Look at that. Right, here's the moment. Do you feel tense? I do a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Lovely and It's a nice bake again, that isn't is it? It's gorgeous. Yeah. So we're going to go on first of all with a little bit of our relish. We've just got some tomato relish on the bottom. But they're salivating already. All the crew are getting hungry. <laughs> A little bit of rocket, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of beetroot, a little crispy bacon. Here. How crispy that's gone. We're going to go on with our rose. Small amount of lime, oh, just to give it a yes. little bit of acidity over the top. It's like watching someone paint a beautiful picture. <laughs> Do you like heat? I'm a wuss. I'm not going to lie to you. Massive, massive wuss, but you know. Right. Just... We're just going to lit, 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 oh, lit, yeah, a tiny little bit like that. that. And we're just going to... And then the finale. We'll pop one of our little eggs just over the top. Ian, you're a hero. We've got a little bit of salt and pepper? Yep. Look at that. We've got a little bit of salt and pepper. I mean, it's, you know, nothing Jesus. wrong with being generous. Little sprinkle of salt, little tiny sprinkle of pepper. Oh! And finally, just a little tiny bit of basil. And that there is my healthy version of a spelt bagel with crispy bacon, avocado, poached egg, some lettuce, rocket, and a little bit of tomato relish. Try it. That looks awesome. <laughs> that does Can look pretty in? good. Yeah, I think so. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Oh, thank Honestly, you it's been so such much a pleasure. For having me. And please go and subscribe. Please go now and go and subscribe, okay? And give a video to watch some great stuff on there as well. Uh, as long as there's also some silly stuff on there as well. I mean, which is good fun. Little really. bit. Should we destroy this? Yes, please! Now, a lot of you are going to hate what I'm going to do now, but it needs to be done. It needs to be I done. Think. We put that on top. Get it! Give it a squash. Aye! Watch it all pop. Look at all that sauce coming out the bottom there. Thanks ever so much for watching us. We'll see you soon. Cheers then. Thanks, bye! bye. <laughs> so good. Oh, my God.